Drew's iPhone asks, can Sonny elaborate on his ETH is more like real estate in Manhattan where Cosmos is a house in the suburbs analogy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. So the analogy, um, yeah, so th this is actually not something I came up with. This is something that uh, Luis from Aragon came up with. Uh, and he basically made this great analogy that I really liked, which was, you know, Ethereum, if you're building on Ethereum today, it is like a great place that it's, you know, uh, a lot happening there. Everything is super composable and, you know, uh, there's a lot of money there to that, like, uh, like liquidity there in order to like, build stuff on and like DeFi stuff. And so, you know, just like how most of finance industries in Manhattan, you know, if you want to build something in DeFi, you should probably go build it on Ethereum. Uh, but now at the same time, you know, Manhattan is this like crazy expensive place to live and it's not really for everyone. Um, and so Cosmos is basically the house, house in the suburbs where having your own application specific blockchain is, you know, being able to, um, you know, when you, you know, the, 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 the American dream, you have your own like white picket fence and you are, you are the owner of your land and you're not, you're not renting land from someone else, you know, like you're, you're in Manhattan, you're usually just reality. renting from the landlord or you're let, yeah. renting from Ethereum. So, so when you're so living, I, it, 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 when you're living in a major me, um, met, metropolitan city like that, you're also um, paying tax to the government that provides security for you. Whereas if you live in the outskirts of the city, you kind of have to protect your own land, like in Cosmos, and then you have to like tote your own guns and everything because you're sovereign. And so like, because it takes like 30 minutes for the cops to come, if you call them, you have to defend yourself. <laughs> right, which I was gonna say, I think that the one thing that the analogy and the thing is that there's like a, there is a, this like security trade-off there. 